I don't know how else to say it. I, I love to show it. You're the first ones that I've let come in and photograph it. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Was it my hair? I didn't know about your hair, otherwise I wouldn't. <laughs> Woke up this morning With the sunrise in my eyes Just like a new day A breath of fresh air in my life I don't know how and don't know why But I'll, I'll be toasting all my life Here at Roger Maxwell's house, who's part historian, part legendary head pro. Let's say hello. Hi. Good morning. This is Roger. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. How are you? Hi, Eric. How are Thank you? Thank you for having us. Wow. So uh, this is a. Uh, this is no small collection here. How did you How did you get started? The first thing I ever collect, uh, collected first was a bag tag. It's on here now. Right here. I worked for UC Ferguson Jr. In a, at a municipal golf course. And I uh, started off caddying. And this was the first thing I ever collected. And I uh, caddied because uh, I wanted to earn money to buy a set of golf clubs and uh, every month I ha was able to accum accumulate about $16. Okay. And I took the $16 down to a J.C. Higgins store in Oklahoma City and you could buy a set of golf clubs but you, you could buy them one at a time. And it took me about eight months to get my irons <laughs> uh, but that's how I got them. These are original signatures. This is a one of a kind. Wow. Uh, you don't see those four together that often nowadays, right? <laughs> uh, you don't see any of them. Well, they are all, they are all together in heaven. I caddied for uh, Arnold Palmer in the 1961 or 2 Oklahoma City Open, which he won. And we became good friends over the years. Um, and I went to uh, his last 10 uh, birthday parties at La in La Trobe. And that was a, really a, a treat. He was a gentleman. He was dedicated to the, in the strongest way to the game and to the patrons of the game and to the youth of the game. He probably signed more autographs than any touring pro in history of the game. You know, and I think that speaks volumes for him. Why do you think he did that? Why? He loved to do it. He loved people. Look at, look at here. I mean, that's just... I don't know how many bag tags I have. I bet I have 3,000. How many? 3,000. Bag tags. Bag tags. That's enough for uh, nine years, a new one every day? Yeah. What, what is the oldest item in here, you think? Well, I have books signed by Robert Jones, but that wouldn't be the oldest thing. Oldest thing would be, would be right here, maybe. This might be a 1700 club as, as a... Where'd you get this? Uh, you just, you know, you just collect. I don't, I don't remember where I get everything. What's your favorite thing in here? 
Uh, I think I think some of my Scotty Camerons, uh, like this bag here, has only um, Augusta Scotty Camerons. This one is one twenty-six of two hundred. Only two hundred of those were made. <laughs> Tell me that's not a, a valuable. Yeah. What do you think of people who inevitably go to Augusta, buy it, and then put it right on eBay? Uh, that's a shame. It's a shame. But I guess my question is like, what's the point of it all? Why do you? It's so much work. Why, why do, do you I do it all? It? Yeah. What's the What's the point? Because I, it, it's my love of my life. It's It's just everything I enjoy of the game. Look at Look at these three these three bronzes. I mean, go find those somewhere. You probably can't find them. You know, they're they're one of a kind, um, and and that 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 gives me a lot of satisfaction to have them. UC Ferguson Jr. Yeah. He was my first mentor. That's his membership card in the PGA for 1956. Okay. This is the back side of it. Whoa. Ben Hogan, Walter Hagen, Arnold Palmer, and Bob Jones. Wow. Bob. I, th I don't think the game is in trouble. Okay. I think the game had a, a, a sinking point, but I don't think it's in trouble. I think probably by clearing out so many of the golf courses that have closed, okay, probably helped us, okay. Is it over? Probably not. But um, the good operators are the still the successful operators. So when you hear things coming from the USGA, uh, or the RNA or the PGA about the future of golf, and when you hear about things like Top Golf, and when you hear about short courses, what what do you think about all of it? Because your business is basically making sure that people enjoy the experience of going to a golf course. Right, and there has to be an experience, okay, and there has to be entertainment value to the game. You got to spice it somehow or other to do a little bit of entertainment gallery. We have operated a golf course. Um, uh, called Starfire, okay? You may be familiar with it, you may not. It's 27 holes, it's a uh, 18 championship Arnold Palmer design, and it's uh, a nine hole uh, short course. And it's, it goes, it's gone over very, very well thus far. It just, it just opened uh, three months ago, the, that part of it. So what does that tell you about the future of golf? Well, if we can get more people to begin to play the golf, on a short course, they'll eventually, hopefully, graduate too. And then, if we get the senior player who's tired of playing the regular course now to play the short course, he may have four more years of fun. What do you think, of all the things golf has taught you, what do you think is the most important? How to work, um, how to accept the, the dedication of the job that requires you to be there at dawn, or you know, uh, I guess, yeah, dawn to dusk. And um, it could easily be seven days a week, could easily be seven days a week, but you want to make sure that every customer you have, he's met you, he or she has met you. And you can begin to call them by their first name or their last name. But um, I, I just think that uh, so much of it is the clubhouse the pro shop particularly the pro shop and the assistants and the bag attendants have to be always have a smile have to provide the experience and have to figure out what they can do to provide an entertainment a better entertainment 
uh, situation. Yeah. Well, you know, I've, I've been kind of semi-retired now for, oh, I guess, well, since my wife passed away, so that'd be six years. Uh, but I'm, um, I- I'm going to get back in the business again. I'm not through. More to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it. I love to hear that you're going to get back out there. I think that's important. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. And so thanks for letting us make this video with you. Oh, you're welcome. I, I get a, it. Do I get a copy of it? Oh, yeah. It'll be on the internet. Oh. <laughs> I'll send you a copy. Would you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll see you soon. Thanks, thanks thank Roger. You. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Woke up this morning With the sunrise in my eyes Just now Fresh air in my life. I don't know how, don't know why, but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life.